Cruise ships are a lot like many cities, including having to feed thousands of people during the course of a voyage. Every week, up to 7,600 people vacation on Royal Caribbean's Icon of the Seas, which holds the title of the world's largest cruise ship. That includes breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks in between. There are 23 total kitchens, referred to as galleys on a cruise ship, and they serve 27 restaurants. At the heart of Icon's meal service is the main dining room, which serves 6,000 guests in a three and a half hour time frame. There are 425 chefs on board Icon, with 45 people working in the main dining room galley on deck three alone. Supplying, prepping, and serving that many meals every day is no simple feat. Royal Caribbean has to have enough food so it doesn't run out without having to overorder or waste any food. Then it has to get supplies in place every week and sometimes the demographics for one sailing may require different amounts of food than another sailing. All the ship's food is sourced from the ship's home port in Miami. In fact, there's enough food on Icon of the Seas not just for one cruise, but three cruises. The idea is there's enough food on hand just in case the ship needs to go in a different direction so there's enough for extra days. Every week, new supplies are brought on board, but some items may only be sourced every two weeks. Cheeses, herbs, and berries are examples of food that's brought on board every week because they don't last very long. But frozen items, such as prime rib or fish, are brought every two or three weeks. So what happens if they end up running short on one item? The ship can call the headquarters to assist in resupplying at one of the ports of call the ship is visiting. The actual food is sourced from all over the world, including locally. It's actually a pretty complex problem. Royal Caribbean Vice President of Food and Beverage, Lincoln D'Souza, talked about this recently and said, quote, we're always looking to source local. And so the last couple of years, we've shifted a lot of our purchasing very domestically within the marketplace. Fresh ingredients have always been the case, but now we've really shifted, whether it's here or in Europe and Australia and China, my team goes out and we go to the marketplace and we'll literally go and match products against our US product and say, okay, what works for us? How do we buy locally? End quote. And all this isn't cheap. Now we asked Royal Caribbean, how much does it cost to source all that food on a cruise ship for one cruise? And Royal Caribbean wouldn't give us an exact number by any means. They just simply said it was quote, a lot. And a lot is a very appropriate number. There are crew members and guests on board. And on a full sailing, you can have 10,000 people, which means you've got to spend a lot of money to make sure there's enough food and beverage and supplies for everybody on board. In fact, food is the second highest expense for Royal Caribbean after fuel. According to Royal Caribbean Group's financial disclosures, the company spent $307 million on fuel in the first quarter of 2024, so they spent somewhere a little less than that on food. Have you ever wondered which foods are the most popular on a cruise ship? Icon of the Seas needs enough food for all of its recipes, as well as food to be available on its own. A tomato can be cut up and served individually or part of a stew, sauce, or salad. According to Royal Caribbean's executive chefs, rice, potatoes, lobster, tenderloin, filet mignon, and especially prime rib are the most popular items on Icon of the Seas. About 20,000 pounds of rice and 2,500 pounds of prime rib are used every cruise. Now, in an effort to get better predictions on how much food the ship will need, the food and beverage team will get demographic information of who is booked and a guest count for the next sailing, meaning if there's more guests, say, coming from Mexico on a given sailing, well, the crew will plan to offer more Mexican food on board. The exact quantity of food depends on the amount of guests and, of course, the demographics of who is sailing. One of the benefits of being a brand new cruise ship is having access to the best of the best, including machinery. Icon has plenty of guest-facing innovations, and that trend applies to kitchens as well. According to Mr. D'Souza, quote, if you go to the production areas, the equipment that we've introduced here for the first time has never been seen on cruise ships before. Things like machines that can take a whole piece of steak, cut it into portions, cut fish into portions, vegetable slicers, things that we just haven't had historically on a ship, end quote. And these machines replace functions that were traditionally done by hand. On an upcoming Utopia of the Seas, which of course will be Royal Caribbean's next new cruise ship, Mr. D'Souza indicated they'll have laser-guided water gun that uses high-pressure water to cut pieces of cake. This tech makes the work easier for crew members, and he believes that crew members will be closer to the guest experience, and that adds more value to the guest experience overall. Quote, we're bringing some pretty new and exciting innovative technology to really take even our back-of-the-house processes up from what they've historically done, end quote. Now, with an operation as large as Icon of the Seas, 
Food safety is paramount. According to Mr. D'Souza, cruise ship kitchens are the most highly regulated food service operation that you will find. The United States Public Health Service has a division known as the Vessel Sanitation Program, which acts as a cooperative activity within the cruise ship industry. According to Mr. D'Souza, they'll get seven to eight uniformed officers that board the ship and they do a full inspection from top to bottom. Now, to be clear, that inspection work is something Royal Caribbean takes really seriously, and Mr. D'Souza is quite proud of the work that his culinary team does and says there's nothing like it at any restaurant near you on land. Quote, you will never find a restaurant on land that looks like this. Top to bottom, stainless steel, spotless floors clean, everything is on order. And you don't see this on land because we have very high standards for our guests and you have very high standards from a government agency body to make sure that we have the highest quality execution, cleanest kitchens, high quality safe food, hand-holding equipment, etc. Another major priority for Royal Caribbean is combating food waste. Reducing food waste serves two primary purposes. It ensures there's less food that ends up in a garbage can, and of course, it saves Royal Caribbean money. The cruise line introduced a program called Win on Waste, which serves to evaluate food consumption on a cruise ship and make adjustments so there's less food used that doesn't end up consumed. Royal Caribbean Group has previously announced it will reduce food waste across its fleet by 50% by 2025. In summer of 2023, Royal Caribbean Group reported it had already been able to achieve a 24% reduction in food waste by focusing on the front end of the food system, which prevents and addresses many of the main causes of food waste, including inventory management and over-preparing. With this new program, chefs can see what's been produced, consumed, wasted, and even repurposed. It helps give better data to chefs so they can understand how to make adjustments for the next production. Royal Caribbean is actually leveraging AI as well, taking into account unused food scrap weight and predict how much food the ship will need for the next sailing. Suffice to say, Icon of the Seas is loaded with every trick of the trade to make sure that it is not only the most efficient cruise ship in the world in terms of being able to reduce food, but also deliver a great guest experience. There's a lot that goes into producing enough food for almost 10,000 people, including guests and crew members. And so to get that all to work every single week is truly incredible. Let me know in the comments below, what are you most impressed about when it comes to producing food on a scale for about you know, 10,000 people every week of a sailing? Let me know in the comments below while you're down below our video. Hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications. That way YouTube lets you have a brand new video to share. This has been Nat from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com, and we'll talk again real soon.